Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Dong Report, where I bet $1 on my favorite MLB home run bets for the day. So it's been a couple days since you have seen a video from me on The Dong Report. I have been posting on my Twitter and just on the YouTube posts as well. So I have been continuing to give them out. Unfortunately, it really has not gone well. I've had a rough stretch of it. Yesterday alone, I had seven home run picks. One of them hit a home run. I ended the day down 2.3 units. That brings my total profit for the Dong Report after this cold streak down to 24.4 units. We are up. So we're still up. Let me be clear. We're still up, but it's been a rough go of it recently. And the ROI the return on our investment for these home runs is 10.15%, so just above 10% ROI. As for today, I got six picks for you guys to hit a home run. Very confident that we will turn this thing around. If we can get all six to mash one, our total profit for today will be about $29.30. And if you put all of those into a parlay, then we will be rich. Before I get into the picks, real quick, a couple housekeeping items. Number one, while you're here, would really appreciate it. it. Helps me out a ton. If you could like the video, comment, let me know your thoughts. And then, of course, subscribe if you're not already to my YouTube channel. And then I also have a membership option as well. So if you want to become a Jedi and training on my YouTube channel, I recommend checking that out. The link to check it out is the very first link in, a, in the description of the video, as well as the pinned comment. I got two different types of membership options. One is for $1 a month. Another one is for $5 a month, obviously different perks. So if you're interested, check that out. But let's get into these home runs. As I mentioned, I have six for you guys today. First up in the Phillies versus Diamondbacks game, we are going with Trey Turner to hit a home run. That is at plus 630 odds at FanDuel. Now, a couple notes. Number one, every single pick I have here is going to be on FanDuel, so you can just go ahead and log into that app now. Number two, I am going to have two different picks in this Phillies Diamondbacks game. Again, starting off with Trey Turner. And Trey Turner, granted, it's been a small sample size. The past five to seven games or so, he has really turned his season around. Now, of course, yesterday he went hitless, but he woke up on the morning of June 9th with a 237 batting average. And in only a couple days of having a hot streak, he has upped that up to 245, which batting 245 isn't anything to write home about. But with how bad Trey Turner has been, it's nice to see him get his swing back. And again, that includes that batting average includes an 0 of 4 day yesterday. So prior to that, it was up to 248. In his last seven games, he's got three multi hit games, which is a far cry from where he was prior to this recent hot streak. In terms of home runs specifically, he last hit one on June 5th, where he hit two in the same game. So it has been about a week since he last hit a home run, which I think that is going to turn around tonight. Zach Davies is on the mound for the Diamondbacks, who just loves giving up home runs. He's given up a ton so far this year, and their bullpen, the Phillies, just mashed yesterday. So could be a great day for glory for Trey Turner. Next up, again, I mentioned in the same game, we are going with Nick Castellanos to hit a home run plus 560 odds, again, at FanDuel. So same game, another Philly and Nick Castellanos, which is kind of funny. One could make a real legitimate argument that Castellanos has been the best hitter for the Phillies this year, which if you remember how bad he was last year, it's just incredible to think about. He was chasing everything last year, but he's been really good, really good for the Phillies this year. He's batting 315 on the year. Granted, he only has eight home runs, so the power isn't quite there, but at least he is just getting the ball in play and he has upped the power department a little bit recently. He's got three home runs in the last 10 games, and he last hit one just two, ga two games ago on June 11th. In general, he has a hit in all but two of his last 10 games, and he's got five multi-hit games in that span as well, including a multi-hit game in the last two games and back-to-back. -back. So the guy is just absolutely on fire. Let's hope that he can get one to go yard for us tonight. Pretty average terms of weather, it's not super positive, it's not super negative either, so really nothing to glean from there. But between Castellanos and Turner, we might get one to hit a home run. We'll probably get two, if we're being honest, and we can move on. The next pick we have is in the Braves versus Tigers game, and we are taking Matt Olson to hit a home run, plus 390 odds at FanDuel. So Matt Olson, despite having 18 home runs on the year, is actually in somewhat of a cold streak, at least for his standards. He's only got one home run 
in his last 10 games, but at least that did happen just two games ago as well. So him and Castellanos both went yard on 6-11. So at least there is a little bit of recent success there. In terms of weather for this one, I admit it's not great. He could still hit a home run, but it's not it's definitely not a positive weather game. And then in terms of pitching for the Tigers is young stud Reese Olsen. He's had a great start to the year so far, but granted that's only in like 10 innings pitched. And obviously that the Braves have an incredible lineup. So we'll see if he can keep it up. But Matt Olsen, huge power hitter, one of the best in terms of barrel rate. So love for him to get one for us tonight. Fourth pick for the evening in the Nats versus Astros game. We are taking Kyle Tucker to hit a home run plus 560 odds, obviously at FanDuel. Now this is a good weather game. This is one of the two best weather games for tonight. So obviously we had to have some action in it and we're going with the young outfielder Kyle Tucker for the Astros. So pitching for the Nats is Patrick Corbin. The guy just loves giving up home runs. So that is a positive for us. Uh, Tucker himself isn't having a horrible year at the plate, but granted he hasn't hit a ton of home runs either. He's got eight on the year. He's got one in his last 10 games, and that came about a week ago on June 5th. So we're hoping that that will change and turn around for us today. Rounding out our fourth pick, next up, fifth pick of the evening, we have Salvador Perez to hit a home run. That is at plus 390 odds, obviously, at FanDuel. Now, Perez has been on an absolutely insane hot streak. Granted, I will admit I'm a little bit upset with him because he's hit a home run in back-to-back -back games. So he's hit a home run on June 11th and June 12th. Well, I had him to hit a home run on June 10th and he didn't. And then he proceeded to hit one in back-to-back -back games after that. That's unfortunate. That obviously happened with these home run picks. That's kind of just the nature of the business. But we are definitely backing someone who's on a hot streak, obviously. He's got 14 home runs on the year. And as I mentioned, two, or he's hit one in back-to-back -back games. Admittedly, this is not a great Weather game, it's even worse than the Braves versus Tigers one. So that part is not great. But the Reds have Brandon Williamson on the mound, who has been awful this year. Another pitcher who loves giving up home runs. He's got a 5.4 ERA on the year, and he's given up six home runs and only 26 and two-third innings pitched, which is just insane how many home runs he's given up in such a short time frame. And then even if he gets chased early, doesn't pitch a lot, the Reds are pretty average in terms of home runs given up. They're not one of the best. They're not one of the worst. Definitely not a bullpen that I'm scared of. So three straight, we could definitely get for Salvador Perez as our second to last pick. And then last pick of the evening, we're going with Matt Chapman to hit a home run plus 400 odds at FanDuel. Can also get it at BetMGM at that price as well. Now, this is another very juicy weather game. There's two juicy weather games for the night. This is one of them. The other one I already mentioned was the Nats versus Astros. So we're going to trust Chapman to go yard for us tonight. On the year, he's got nine, but he did just hit one yesterday against the Twins. So I do like that recent success. In terms of the pitching matchup here, the Orioles have Dean, Dean Kremer on the mound, another bad pitcher. <laughs> We're just fading a lot of bad pitchers. And this one, the guy just absolutely gets mashed. So another great opportunity for Matt Chapman to go for a yard for us tonight, rounding out our six picks of the evening. And let's hope we can get this cold streak to come to an end because it has been brutal. Definitely the worst cold streak I've been on since I started doing the Dong Report. At least we're still up over 24 units. So it's not as though it's been taking us in the red or anything like that. But I would like to break out of the slump. Very confident that'll be tonight. So if you're tailing, remember to comment. Let me know. If there's someone that you like to hit a home run, comment and let me know as well. Other than that, remember to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out the membership options if you're interested. Thanks for watching and have a good one.